In this video, we're taking a look at radius and interval of convergence. So here we're given a series, and the first thing we would want to do is the ratio test. So if we're going to do the ratio test, that means every k needs to be replaced with a k plus 1. So we have negative 1, k plus 1 would become k plus 2, uh, x plus 1 to the k plus 1, all over k plus 1, multiply by the reciprocal, so k, and then we have negative 1 to the k plus 1, x plus 1 to the k. Well, now we can do a little bit of crossing out and canceling. So the negative 1 to the k plus 1 is really negative 1 to the k plus 1 times negative 1 to the 1. And that's going to allow us to cancel out those two. Our x plus 1 to the k plus 1 can be rewritten as x plus 1 to the k times x plus 1. And that's going to allow us to cross out those two terms. So now if we pull the x plus 1 out front absolute value, so we have x plus 1 absolute value limit as k approaches infinity. And the negative 1 here goes away with the absolute value. So now what we've got left is k over k plus 1. Well, so this limit here is 1 because that's the same same. When you multiply 1 times the absolute value of x plus 1, you simply get absolute value of x plus 1. So now we have the absolute value of x plus 1, and that will converge if it's less than 1. Thus, our radius of convergence is 1. Now we can take a look at interval of convergence. So we're going to start with negative 1 less than x plus 1 is less than positive 1. If we subtract 1 to both sides, we get negative 2 is less than x is less than 0. So we need to now test the endpoint by plugging into the original to see if negative 2 or 0 work. So let's start by testing x is negative 2, and we're going to replace x with negative 2. So we have the series from 1 to infinity. We have negative 1 to the k plus 1. We have a negative 2 plus 1, which is a negative 1 to the k over k. Well, so if we simplify that a little bit, um, we're really looking at uh, the series from 1 to infinity of negative 1 over k, and that's the divergent p-series. So we can go ahead and say it diverges because it's a p-series, and x is negative 2 does not work. Now let's test our other endpoint, which was x is 0. So again, we're replacing x with 0. So we get the series from 1 to infinity. We have negative 1 to the k plus 1. And now it's 1 to the k all over k. Well, so that really is an alternating series. And so if that's an alternating series, then we need to take a look at what's going on with that. And the limit of that series as we approach infinity of basically 1 over k is 0. So that works. And the function is decreasing. So this is going to converge by the alternating series test. So we come back up, and we need to put an equal sign with the 0. And we can either write that in set notation, or we can write it using interval notation. Let's do one more example. So in this next example, uh, again, same idea. We're going to start off by doing the ratio test. 
So we have negative 1 to the k plus 1, x minus 4 to the k plus 1, over k plus 2 squared, multiply by, we have k plus 1 squared, over negative 1 to the k, x minus 4 to the k. Well, so over here, the negative 1 to the k plus 1, we write that as negative 1 to the k times negative 1 to the first power, allowing us to cancel those two out. Our x minus 4 to the k plus 1 is, again, x minus 4 to the k times x minus 4 to the first power, allowing us to cross out those two terms. If we pull our x minus 4 out front, absolute value, and we have the limit as k approaches infinity, we have k plus 1 squared on top, we have k plus 2 squared on the bottom. Well, so this is the same same again, and so it ends up being 1, and 1 times the absolute value of x minus 4 gives us the absolute value of x minus 4, and this thing is going to converge when it's less than 1. So our radius of convergence is still 1. Now we can go ahead and try and find our interval. So if we come over and we go negative 1 less than x minus 4 is less than 1. If we add 4 to both sides, we would get 3 is less than x is less than 5. Well, now we need to test the endpoints to see if those converge or diverge. So if we check x is 3, that means we're plugging in a 3 in for x. So we get the series from 0 to infinity. We have a negative 1 to the k. Uh, when we plug in the 3, we get a second negative 1 to the k over k plus 1 squared. So if we compare that, if we think about that, that's looking like 1 over k plus 1 squared, which is the convergent p-series, hyperharmonic. So we could say hyperharmonic if we want. And so that one does work. So let's go ahead and put an equal sign there. And let's check x is 5. If we check x is 5, we've got k is 0 to infinity. We have negative 1 to the k. When we plug in the 5, we just get 1 to the k over k plus 1 squared. Well, so that's an alternating series. Again, with that alternating series, uh, the limit as k approaches infinity of 1 over the k plus 1 squared, or the alternating one, uh, is 0, because it's a low high, and it does decrease, therefore it converges, we have a second equal sign. Or in interval notation, we could go bracket 3, 5 bracket. So either notation will do.